Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Rich Ladder here back with another video. Today we're going to be making some boom bap soul sampling to start off 2024. All right, here we are. We got our grid pulled up and all that. So what I'm going to do is chop this sample up. So uh, we're working with something from Splice. Uh, let's see what we got, man. So this is what it sounds like. I don't think you can really like if you've seen any of my videos like that's right up my alley that's my style um let's get it popping so uh, i got it at 86 beats per minute so i got serato sample pulled up here uh, make sure you download and buy serato sample and all that they're not paying me to say that it's just it's this the easiest thing to sample with and i figured it out inside of five minutes the first time i ever loaded it up i was like Oh, okay, so <laughs> um, let's take a listen. So what I'm gonna do is chop that up evenly. I'm gonna set my slicer here. And now I got it across my keys here. So I'll put it in the third octave. So that way my Z, when I hit it, will be that. Um, there's also your S, and that's just going to take you right across the bottom, D, e, C, and it's mapped to my keyboard as well, so I can just hear little options to play with. Um, we do have the stem separation things here, but this is just kind of a song starter, so there's nothing really to separate. I kind of want all that stuff for all the lush textures. I want the strings. I want the pianos. I want the vocals all mixing in one, so... Uh, uh, change the key around a little bit because I like to do that at least so I'm not just looping it up uh, try to make my own a little bit so and I took that one to two and that makes it a little bit longer and you see I got less chops in that um, sample right here to try it um, kind of pitched up like that Let's see if we can come up with a pretty cool pattern I like to do the patterns inside of the piano roll here That's a good place to start building from. And now I can come back across with the higher chops that are. Keep it simple, that's what I like to do. Sometimes the um, the sample when you're trying to get inside the first part of it, the fourth part, the seventh and eighth part, the music is made a certain way for a reason. And also it is made to be picked apart and put together exactly how you like. So. Um, you can see all the different ones I use on that first one. Let's take a look at the grid. Got two quick chops there. There is a longer one on each and then two more right there. And I just looped that up right there because I liked how that sounded so much. The second one, real basic. These are longer. <laughs> And 
that one, I'm just kind of letting it ride. So um, third one, let's see what we can uh, come up with here. while I uh, start coming up with these hats. drums that sound fat in the bottom. Like that, that's like, you can really feel it coming from underneath. That's probably like my favorite boom bap kick that I have. Whoever made that, thank you. And I'll turn the X down a little bit so it's even like less high end on the kick right there. And I'm gonna bump that baby up a little bit. So...
bass line. How can we do this? Which one do I like the best? So what I'm what how I do my bass lines is I'll pick the part of the sample chop that I like the best, and then I'll base the bass line based off of that. I think I like that first one. So what I'm gonna do is copy the entire pattern from this one right here, and I'm gonna bring it to our little fella right here. So we still got that same one right there, right? But the reason we want that is because we are going to take all the high end off of this. underneath that right now what I've got to do here is play around in our mix rack here I'm gonna throw some distortion on it because I like how that crunchy part sounds turn it down to taste for me bass boost really going to do to make that come alive EQ of course turn down some of that crunch and boost seven so it's really loud so I've got to blend it because um, it's not cutting through and I'm gonna need to throw a limiter on this and what I'm doing is side chaining that and this will allow the kicks to start Since that's my favorite pattern, that's why I made the bass line. Everything else naturally sounds good with it because the top end's taken off and it's, it creates kind of a cool sound uh, underneath the other patterns. So let's take a listen to this one alone. <laughs> is 
put it on the playlist and track it out. If you liked any of this stuff that you saw, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and all that. And we're going to have a great 2024. So uh, let's take a listen to some beautiful soul. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. My name is Rich Ladd. I'm up out of here. Just wanted to highlight y'all real quick. Welcome to 2024. And uh, make sure you're liking every video on this page, sharing, commenting, all that stuff. We're going to have a great year. Peace.